Hi, I'm Tish. Juliana is still busy with work, but this is still in the movies, at the movies. When your legs don't work like they used to before. Once again, I am at home after the movie in bad lighting, talking to my phone. I just got home from the advanced screening for Me Before You. This is an adorable romantic comedy with Amelia Clark and Sam Clayfin. It's like I got this little thing. I'll get to that later. About a girl who becomes a care worker for a quadriplegic young man and they fall in love and you know, the usual stuff. It was really cute and adorable and really funny at times and then I did cry a little bit at the end. <sighs> Amelia Clark is adorable. Especially in this movie, she has the most adorable clothes and shoes and she's just like happy and perky and oh my god, that girl's facial expressions. Have you seen those eyebrows? They are all over the place. Like, it's crazy. The range of her eyebrows. And like, I mean this in the best way. It's amazing. She has such an expressive face and it's so cute and like big smile and like her eyebrows go way up and then she's like pleading with him and they're like It's amazing. I haven't seen her in anything because the only thing she's done is Game of Thrones and I don't watch that. But I have seen like gifs and stuff of uh, her in that and her eyebrows have not moved that much in what I've seen. They've been very cool, calm, collected Khaleesi eyebrows, but um, she has a great face. She's adorable. I don't have any strong opinions about him. I guess he acted pretty well for not being able to move. He also had to act with his face a lot. It was just cute and fun and yeah, it was full of a lot of like cliches and like overdone tropes. Like she has a boyfriend, but then obviously she falls in love with this guy and it's um, something I've come to know as the sub-genre of romantic comedies called I was about to marry someone else, but then fate intervened. Um, you see it a lot with um, these cheesy romantic comedy things, you know, she's gonna marry some guy and then she, something happens and she meets some other guy and it's like, oh, that first guy was an asshole, which never makes sense because I'm like, she, you know, we're supposed to love this character, like, she's so amazing, like, why would she be with this it asshole? And we don't see any good qualities in him at all. Anyway, her asshole, he's not that bad, actually. Her boyfriend is played by Neville Longbottom. I can't be bothered to remember his real name. Um, he's looking real fit. He plays a runner, so he's like in tight running gear, running and sweaty all the time. He's pretty cute. And her sister is played by Clara Oswald. I mean, Jenna Coleman. Um, and oh my gosh, they really do look alike. They look like they could be sisters. They have the same cute little faces. You know, it's just very predictable and like there's nothing new, you know, like and I've seen this before in movies when someone, you know, like gets in an accident and is like paralyzed or something like this. They're always like the most active people who are really like making the most out of life and really like using their bodies. And so like it's so such a tragedy that now they can't do all that stuff. And I'm like, you know what? It would still be a fucking tragedy and really hard even if it was a person who like sat on their ass a lot and didn't go on crazy adventures and wasn't athletic, it's still a great loss and like a terrible thing to happen to be paralyzed in some way. But they always make them like fucking athletes like to make it even more tragic. And just, you know, it's just full of like, where do you get this idea? I've seen it a million times. Which makes me wonder what actually came from the book and what they changed for the movie because it is based on a novel. There's also a lot of pop songs, a lot of pop song montages, um, which frankly, it's like a lazy way to like show time passing or establish their relationship or just like to, 
have like an emotional moment. They just like put a song in there that like sings what the person's feeling or like gives you the tone of the scene. And like, it just, it takes you out of the movie because all of a sudden you're like, hey, I know this song. Instead of, you know, it just being like a score where you can still focus on the character and what's going on. It's just, you know, like pop song, super fun. I did already read something about this movie about um, paraplegic, quadriplegic people or disabled people didn't think it sounded so great that this man who is a quadriplegic now because of an accident wants to die. They think it's like a bad representation of disabled people, paralyzed people, that like life is so terrible that they all want to just kill themselves. Which isn't true, because some people are living happy lives. The other cliche thing was that he was like really rich, so they could like afford all the stuff that he needed. Which usually doesn't happen, especially in countries where like healthcare and stuff is not cheap. It would be a much different life than what he has in the movie, really, realistically. There's also the issue of a disabled character being played by an able-bodied person which I mean they do show him before so there's that argument but um yeah often disabled people are played by you know able-bodied actors and it's a shame just like many other diversity problems we have that people aren't they're not casting actual people of that race etc in that role Overall, it was cute and I laughed out loud a lot. Amelia Clark was great. It's a cute romantic comedy with, you know, a sad aspect to it. Um, so, I don't know if I'll ever really watch it again, but it, you know, I'm a sucker for a cute romantic comedy once in a while and I think like her shoe collection alone will make me want to watch it again because she just dresses so cute and like a little bit odd and she's adorable. I wouldn't rush to theaters to see it because it's just a, it's just a rom-com. <laughs> so watch more of our review videos and listen to our podcast on iTunes, links down below. And I promise next video Juliana will be here. I hope. Should definitely be on the podcast. Definitely. It's so late, I want to go to bed. Oh! I forgot. Afterwards, it was taking so long for people to leave, and I was like, what the fuck is holding people up? You're just leaving the fucking theater. And then I remembered something about Avon giving away shit after the movie. And that's what it was. They're handing out these little bags. I haven't looked in it yet, so I'm going to look inside of it right now, live, on camera, in front of you. Um, so yeah, Avon. It has this little postcard thing, good promotion, and it, in the back it says, get the look, and it's a bunch of their products to like, get her makeup look. I assume it's her makeup look, and not his, but who knows. Um, cute. Kleenex, wait. Time to take care of you. Go ahead and let it all out. Well, they should have fucking given this to us before. Oh, and there you go, packaging again. Is it really just Kleenex? Because that's actually perfect, because I have allergies, so I always need Kleenex. We all feel better when we take care of each other. Made with so much care, one Kleenex tissue is all it takes. To do what? What? This huge box for just a little packet of tissues. Are you seeing this? Oh wait, what is this? Save 50 cents on any two packages of Kleenex products. What a deal. 50 cents. 50 cents on each? That's a whole dollar. Which, as someone who goes to movies for free, is a great deal. So much packaging for just a little thing of Kleenex. Happy tears are the best tears. Okay. Is there any actual makeup in here? Avon. 
Ultra Color Absolute Lipstick. <gasps> Actual makeup. Drug facts. I don't care. It's makeup. SPF 15. That's good. Don't want to sunburn my lips. I hope it's red because that's probably the only color I'll wear. Okay, once again, huge packaging for what it is. Ooh, this is actually a really nice color. Oh my god. Perfect. I don't have nice red lipstick. Okay, I have to put it on now. Get ready for this. Oh, it's silky smooth, guys. It feels real good. For someone who never wears lipstick, I think I'm doing a really good job right now. Do I have an actual mirror? Where's my Huntsman mirror? It's in my purse when purse isn't. That's actually like the best thing I've ever won or got from a free movie. I mean the Huntsman stuff was cool, but this is like worth money. <laughs> and I actually could use a nice red lipstick. Not that I ever fucking wear it like in person, but what's the color called? Red velvet. Perfect. This is super awesome. And I got all this stuff with the poster image on it, you know, in case I was really into that. So that's nice. Anyway, that was a really cool prize and it was a really cute movie. So I want to go to bed now because it is very late because the bus takes a very long time. I did not have Juliana to drive me home. Bye.